In the face of an escalating crime rate comes a call by the country's commander-in-chief, echoed in the parliamentary chamber. I hope that there can be greater collaboration across the aisle, particularly where legislative and other measures designed to help us fight crime are concerned. In her maiden speech at the ceremonial opening of the fourth session of the 12th Parliament, President Christine Kangaloo zeroed in on five areas of focus that she hoped would be included in the legislative agenda. As crime topped the list, it would be those before her charged with taking on the task together. The urgency is obvious. The pain and the suffering are unbearable. These alone should drive parliamentarians to put aside their party rivalries, join hands across the aisle and collaborate on how to stem crime and criminal conduct. Among the other items, President Kangaloo also lobbied for an urgent parliamentary intervention that will result in the steel pan being declared the country's national instrument, as well as legislation to promote and protect the rights of people with disabilities, as well as treating with the threats of artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, the president noted that service by parliamentarians continued to be misunderstood and placed office holders in the line of public cynicism, cautiously defending their role. We do not always conduct ourselves in accordance with the standing orders of the House or of the Senate. Truthfully, sometimes we go too far and descend to depths of which we should be ashamed. But equally truthfully, the work that parliamentarians, particularly elected parliamentarians do, is fundamental to the well-being of our society. And that kind of work is, I fear, also underappreciated. President Kangaloo also applauded the work and operations of the parliament, which she said has been efficient over the years. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News.